This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love After Hours. I'm Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, we're here. We're live. We have sound. Yay. Everything's working. This week's guest is Chris O'Rourke. What's up? And, <laughs> and in the live studio audience, we're joined by Verso. Let's give it up for the live studio audience. Woo, live studio audience. Sexy, sexy. Why don't we move Chris's mic oh, up a little bit there? Chris is having mic <coughs> malfunction. There we go. Don't be mycophobic now. <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. So, <laughs> I'm going to tell you all a little shy. story. <laughs> but um, bum I'm going to tell you a little story. 1995, 17-year-old Cammy moves to Portland to live with her fiance. Wait a minute. Do I have to cue music? Okay, go ahead. Do you no, keep talking. I mean, oh, okay. I, so, I think it needs the, so the wavy lines. December 1995, Kimmy moves to Portland to live with her fiance. December 1985. 95. 95. 95. If it was 85, there would be issues. <laughs> Is this part going to be on black and white like all news Picture really? It should Portland. be. <laughs> John McCain's still old. <laughs> I moved to Portland, my first apartment, to get my first apartment away from my parents on the corner of 21st and Flanders in Northwest Portland. And if you're wondering which building it is, it's right next door to Bosta's. It looks like a 1970s hotel with a glass elevator. I lived on the sixth floor, the top floor, in the corner, the, the far corner apartment with the balcony. Okay? Crappy little tiny apartment. A balcony. Tiny kitchenette, one this bedroom. This week on Arts and Entertainment, it's the <laughs> Cami Chaos story. Mm-hmm. You're a fucker. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I think I saw this Lifetime movie. Wasn't your fiance played by uh, the guy who played Superman, Dean Cain? I don't know who Dean Cain is. Yeah. Was he hot? <laughs> I have no... At the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyway. It was the 90s. Because he was hot. They cast Portland was Superman. growing. Yeah, I don't find the other... Christopher Reeve... I didn't find him hot. The late Christopher Reed. I'm sorry, the late Christopher Reed. Is it bad of me to say I didn't think he was hot? And the story goes? You, you want to Oh, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently my mic wasn't direct enough. And the story goes... <laughs> I moved into an apartment at the age of 17, almost moved 18. Moved into an apartment at the age of 17. On the corner of 21st and Flanders. On the corner of a bustling 21st and Flanders. It was a hip little neighborhood, but my rent was only three seventy five a month with my with my then fiance. The good old days. A few blocks away was the Quick Stop, oh, near yeah. near Cinema Twenty One. Is there a point? <laughs> At the Cinema Twenty One, there was a long haired hippie dude that used to sell me cigarettes without carding me. This that long haired hippie dude was Chris O'Rourke. Oh. Which it's a terrible, terrible, <laughs> scandalous thing you say. You know what? It was only two months before I turned 18, so and you're tonight fine. tonight on Strange Love Arts, Chris O'Rourke. Chris, thank you so much for selling my cigarettes, even though they were death sticks and I quit smoking because it was really bad for me. But thank you so much because I needed them. I'm incapable of saying no to pretty women, so <laughs> I'm not sure why I sold you cigarettes. <laughs> You know, mostly I sent my boyfriend over to buy them until I turned 18, but... Which, as you said earlier, he was a gothy douche. Oh! So... <laughs> Those were not my exact words. So I'm just thinking, is this like the old <laughs> school lovely television? That and, you know, this, this episode of Four Out of Five Doctors Recommend <laughs> Cigarettes for Your Health on Strange okay, Love Live. Let's, let's clarify. Smoking is bad for you. Smoking is bad for your lungs. Smoking makes you stinky, stinky, stinky. I quit smoking before I got pregnant with my daughter, and I don't smoke now. 
Yay for quitting smoking. Yay. Actually, to play devil's advocate, uh, smoking can help ease the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, well, as well as Alzheimer's. But I don't have either of those. But if I ever develop either of those, I will start smoking again. Because let's face it, even if you've quit smoking, Jesus, you love standing there with a smoker and smelling the smoke. Oh, yeah. Uh, because smoking is really bad for you and it's horrible and it's bad and it's bad. But yeah. Okay. Smoking is bad. But yeah. drinking's great. <laughs> Drinking exactly. is really good for your liver. It gives you your liver vitamin C. It's mm. a workout for your liver. It, 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 it's, um, it's only a matter of time. You know, if, you know, 20 years from now, it's like, you know, oh, you're drinking? Oh, yeah. You know. um, let's not say things like that. I don't Actually, we tried that in this country once before. I don't want to take my gin away. Out, so, you know. We'll never take. Yeah. I'm no, pretty I don't. sure that's when the fail whale first made its a. Uh, oh, appearance. yeah, the first fail whale was during Prohibition. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't know there was actually an analog version of Twitter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The party line. There we go. That's right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, So now that we've discussed (laughs) that Chris at work used to sell me cigarettes, only he only sold my boyfriend cigarettes until I turned 18. And then he sold me cigarettes. Yes, when I turned 18, Chris at work sold me cigarettes. And nobody smokes cigarettes anymore. So and cigarettes good. are bad for you. They kill and you, et cetera, et cetera. They've been let's, outlawed. You get the let, death penalty. Let's talk about Doctor Who. Oh, who? <gasps> oh, wait. I think he has sound effects for us. Let's talk about Go ahead. Doctor Just keep who. moving along. Let's talk the about Doctor. Doctor Who. Chris, are you sad as I am that David Tennant is leaving? Oh, yeah. He's uh, got like four episodes left. Is that what it is? Four like specials, two-hour movies. Like, yeah. So eight hours, yeah. eight so eight like, hours of Doctor Who with David Tennant. That's like three quarters of a season. I've been saving. I love you, David Tennant. Don't leave me. A bottle of Newcastle Nut Brown Ale uh-huh. for ages. Uh huh. That a friend actually brought from overseas on a trip to uh, well, actually Wales, where the show was filmed. And uh, um, a shout out to all my Wales people. Cardiff. You know who you are, Sweet Pea. I love you. You sent me this David Tennant doll. Yes, it's not a doctor doll. It's David Tennant. Well, it's David Tennant as Doctor Who. Now, are you a Casanova fan? Casanova he, Frankenstein? He did actually play, he did I play actually play. have not gotten to see Casanova yet, which is very upsetting for me. I do love Casanova Frankenstein. Yeah. If everyone doesn't know what Casanova <sighs> Frankenstein, go get schooled. Okay. Has nothing to do with David Tennant, though. So, um, Doctor Who. Okay. Okay, Doctor Who. Uh, and... I completely forgot where I was going. We were talking about ah, we were yes. talking about when uh, somebody, I believe, on Twitter said, oh, my God, he's quitting. And I was like, oh, God, no. Ah! Oh, David, Tennant, don't leave us. Called yeah. my wife, who was out of town. And uh, in, in honor, I actually dumped two shots out since he's the second doctor of the new season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and uh, mm-hmm. then, then, then I guzzled the bad boy. It's a big bottle about that tall. Yeah. And, and I was really sad. And it sucks especially. In preparation for this Strange Love Live, I should have gone out and got all the weekly podcasts on Doctor Who, because there's many, (laughs) and recommended them to everyone. One per episode. Oh, yeah. So that, yeah. Wow. I need to, I don't listen to To podcasts. podcasts. I I don't. It's true. I have a podcast. I don't listen to podcasts, except for, I used to listen to uh, the Silicon Florist podcast, but he doesn't do them anymore. Yeah. Silicon Florist. And occasionally I pick up the Hazelnut Tech Talk. Have you listened to my podcast? No. You have a podcast? No. Well. Then how could we listen to it? such a little brat. The really nice bit about most some of the Doctor Who podcasts is that they offer up commentary. So you watch the episode, and then you can watch it again and listen to David Tennant talk about, oh, when we were shooting this, I was miserable with the flu, and you know that kind of thing. And so some of those, like in the behind the scenes bits, are really good, and it's it's kind of fun to do that because it sort of gives you a chance to watch the episode again from a completely different point of view, like when they do the Battlestar Galactica podcast. With I don't the watch Battlestar Galactica, but I have this friend. Yeah, that's your problem. Uh-huh. I have this friend who every time she watches uh, Doctor Who, she live blogs it. Yeah, great. And and I always watch it way before she live blogs it, and then I go back and read it, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the whole time. So, so as a public service, I don't know who that true. friend is, but as a public service, Google <laughs> she Doctor Who podcast and oh. pick up some of the fine Doctor Who podcasts that are out there. I think I'm moving actually, on. I think I'm actually going to try to get some Doctor Who podcasts. Moving on. So, Chris, what if, you- if we had a TV show podcast, which I I don't like. TV show podcast. I don't like TV, so I don't watch. You do too, because you like that one guy with the gray hair. 
Uh-huh. Oh, I love that show. Oh, you watch that too? Um, yeah, I love that. He's right awesome. No no, 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 you do like that one no, guy. I'm My other favorite shows with the Indian. I don't just... like. I don't like shows about shows like Wait, the... podcasts oh, about like oh, Lost shows about shows. I thought you were saying you don't about... like shows oh, right, that show right. up on TV. Yeah, yeah, that's what I don't like. Oh, and, I don't like that either. If, unless it's about Doctor Who. I went crazy and did a show. A, a podcast about a show uh-huh. it would be Venture Brothers you have to be Venture yes. Brothers raise your hand if you're a Venture Brothers fan you oh, have to yeah. be Venture Brothers. everybody in this room loves the Venture Brothers that's Yay. that's actually Venture noted Brothers. on Chris O'Rourke's profile but, but it's all about the monarch it would but we're still talking about Doctor Who wait we'll get would, to Venture oh, Brothers please, in a moment please. what did you think there's so, like two people in the chat room now you mentioned Doctor Who and it's like bam they're all it's gone. like when I sing and yeah. Rosie tells everyone that's to right. go away that's right they just can't face the fact that we're talking about the fact that David Tennant's leaving they're really side. upset that David Tennant is leaving look at this okay. beautiful beautiful David Tennant doll and he's going away he brought depth to the role that the doctor never had it's okay that's, that's right true. there was one episode I didn't like though lies no one episode that I was like god this is kind of a crap episode and it was I can't remember the name of it, but it was the episode where he was stuck on the spaceship. Oh, with the lady that repeated everything until yeah, it was that the was same time. Yeah, really obnoxious. Was that the one with the, yeah. the, the, the sun spirit thing? And then, spoiler, 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 they like wound up sucking something out of the, su- sucking one of the passengers out of the spaceship. Sucking? And I'm sure you're did actually anyone talking else about Torchwood. happen to notice? No, I like Torchwood, no, sweetie, you that's sucking face, which is something else again. There's a lot of, you know, who was on Oh, no, Torchwood. I like Torchwood. I was just actually oh, making a much, oh. much more blue reference. Oh, oh, yes. oh cock sucking. I know, yeah, that's We're fine. back there. Subtlety. So, I anyway. really like the James Marsters was on, yeah. on uh, Torchwood. Because I love James Marsters. And it was hot. I mean, I I do have, actually, before we go off on uh, going back to Doctor Who, I do have one issue with Torchwood, (laughs) and that's the fact that they say that uh, he'll he'll do, uh, Jack Harkness will do anything, but it seems that the entire series involves him doing things to men. It is true. It is true. He's he's billed as, as, like, Trisexual, as in he'll try like anything. Past once, trisexual, quad, twice if it hurts or something. Quad yeah. sex, tuple sexual. It doesn't matter, but it's yeah. always him with the boys. And yeah. the, I mean, the actor is is gay, and that's fine. It, it's like Torchwood's like a cross between uh, the Highlander TV series, which I never watched because it was crap. Okay, I watched one episode and it was crap. Yeah, true. It, it mixed with uh, Queer as Folk. It, <laughs> I well, didn't watch that the guy that. Is it's, behind it. Russell T. Davies actually created Queer as Folk yes. in the UK. And the UK version is actually far, far saucier than the US version if you're into the US version. And quite honestly, it's hot dudes and more hot dudes. Like, how is that bad if you're a girl? I'm just saying. So, yeah. However, the UK the version doesn't do not The hot dude on hot dude stuff doesn't do it for me. That's very true. I don't know. I'm not I'm not into the hot dudes on hot dudes. No, but they are I all, like looking at hot dudes, but I don't yeah. like the hot dudes on hot dudes. But see, dudes. most of the it time they're all me. just sort of just hanging out. Let's funny. just go around the room and ask, you know, who likes hot dudes on hot dudes? Raise your hand. <laughs> Chris? No? So, no. Not so, your kind of thing? Really? Little blue boy action? on the you know. L word for life, yo. Yeah. So, <laughs> Verso? So Verso? You, <laughs> oh, hot dudes and hot dudes, yes. Oh, you, you dig the That's blue boy? That's fine with me, yeah. yeah. Nice. But I also like I also like the fact that even dressed, like they're all attractive, and it's just really nice to watch an episode full of attractive people, none of whom I hate because they don't eat, and you know they all look like they have a giant head on a lollipop stick neck. No, I do. Which I is love the problem with all the, the girls on a lot of bodies. TVs. I love that there's all yeah. healthy looking bodies. Yeah, see, and, and that's really the point that I'm about. And I love that James Marsters is there once again doing his British accent. Which is hot. Yeah, because... Normally, yeah. now, if you see James Marsters off of Buffy, he doesn't have the British accent because he's not British, and it's very emotionally disturbing. Yeah. But on Torchwood, <laughs> Dr. Normal is hanging himself right now. It's very sad. And so is the chat room. So anyway, <laughs> prior to so, David yeah, Tennant. Let me point out something that I think is mildly topical, but yet Torchwood related. I'm going to okay. point this out. Um, I recently took Does trip. it have something to do with you're, Obama? You're killing my <laughs> no, husband. I don't know. No, it's, it's just the teeniest bit topical, though, and I'll tell you why. By Don't the way, this. he was elected president on Tuesday. Holy no. crap. Oh my God. Yeah, we'll no, get... really. Yeah, we'll just, no. Yo, shut up. TV, We're going to discuss it. this later. Wait you minute, shut up. Wait a minute. David Let Tennant Kelly got elected talk. president? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't know that British guys are. I want to do, I'm, I do my strong I didn't Thurman know Scottish and Jesse guys Helms in could be the president. <laughs> hey, uh, but... hey, Jesse. Jesse. Did you did you catch a one election, Jesse? Oh, I'm. 
well, uh, strong. Hey, Doctor uh, Normal. Is I Jesse cannot Helms hear you. And, uh, Ouch! Oh, look! What is that, Obama? Doctor Normal is hurting my ears. Yeah, I'm try- I'm, I want to do my Please Jesse Helms. speak into the machine. <laughs> I'm going to do a okay. podcast called okay, Jesse this. and Strom in Purgatory. I'll stop talking about James Marsters and David Tennant if you, you stop talking about Jesse Helms and Strom Thurmond. Oh. I have had a request for the Audrey Hepburn impersonation. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's not doing the Audrey Hepburn impression. Oh, was that Catherine. Nate? It's Obama it Nate, Pluck. Nate, is he? Nate, shut up. <laughs> We're not talking about Pluck. Pluck is evil. Time moves to the left, you And know. not putting my headphones back on until you're done. Please we just do the classics. It's like Carson, machine. man. It's like, you know, <laughs> we'll have uh, Shecky Green out here, you know, I'm just doing the, the classics. Oh, can't We've had the chat the room. Here. We've had the chat room in a Funkin' wag. <laughs> the chat room's been dying. They're just like, stop. We've had the chat room in a mayonnaise char on Dr. Normal's porch since noon today. Yeah, sure. exactly. Mm, okay. I, I do have another David T. Re- <laughs> Dave, I have another Doctor Who related question. A but it's not cat. about David Tennant. It's the opposite of David Tennant. So aside from David Brazier Tennant. And you shut up, Dr. Normal. Dr. Normal may be quiet now. Aside from David Tennant, who's your favorite oh, doctor? Word. That's a really, really tough question because there's the Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Sarah Palin. You betcha. If Sarah Palin you was ever until. a doctor, the next I would doctor fucking is Sarah kill Palin. myself. She signed the contract. They'd be like, I'm here. I'm going to commit. Yes, the GOP doctor spent $150,000 overhauling the TARDIS. Yeah, now I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm a Time Lord now. Oh, it's bigger on the inside. Exactly. <laughs> Kelly, I tried to go if you pee, ever pee, say pee. that out loud again about Sarah Palin, I'm going to hurt you. I love you, but don't talk about Sarah Palin and Doctor Who. Oh, by the I can see the moon. I must be an astronaut. <laughs> Wait, didn't she play Donna on, on Doctor Who? Oh, oh that's just God. You guys are making me cry. Uh, okay, I really enjoyed Donna, and I'll tell you why. Because she never looked up to the Doctor. She looked at him. She looked down were, on him. Well, she they was were like, "Fuck you, Doctor." They were at least I'm equal. Trying. I'm fucking own, Donna, and it wasn't like. I'm Rose, trying to bring who, it back to politics. I really am. <laughs> I, I'm going to go with Sylvester McCoy or Peter Davison because those are my two... Good doctors. Those are the two doctors mm-hmm. I was most introduced to. And uh, as far as companions, compared to Ace, these three suck balls. Truly. I'm with so you. if the I, I master is McCain and the doctor is Obama... Actually, that's discuss. a good point. No, I, I would love say, though, if the new doctor ended up being black. That hasn't been done yet, and I think that yeah. would be one of the that coolest things ever. That actually would be cool. I think that would be good. Yeah. It never, never happened. I want Get a girl. The, uh, ooh. I was, think a girl will awkward. happen eventually, no, but I think there'll be a boy. Of... <gasps> I think well, there'll be a... I think word there will on be the street an... is that, well, people are saying that they want Billy Piper to come back and be the next doctor. Uh, oh, fuck you. I hate Billy Piper. I was going to say, my least favorite of all the companions ever in the history of Doctor Who is Billy Piper. Wow, really? She was yes. more tolerable than Martha. She yeah. actually did stuff. Martha's like, you know what, though? Hey, Martha you know what? was like, I give oh, Martha these two credit. going to take me someplace. And oh my I gosh, give Martha credit only based on the episodes where she went and did the whole thing and she had no doctor and she saved the world, blah, 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 blah. I give her credit for that. Billy Piper annoyed the shit out of me. Well, and then once she came back and was working with Donna and was all like half the time was going, was going, uh, you're the only one that can shave the world because of like her giant veneers. <laughs> and she sounded like Shelly on Dude, South Park. Her teeth are so... Yeah, yeah. I oh appreciate that she got her teeth fixed, but, yeah, but they're so different than they were before. Her. Yeah. yeah. It's like raccoon eyes. The only teeth. thing that would have irritated me more than terrible. Billy Piper as a companion is when I saw that Kylie Minogue was on the Christian special, I was like fearing for my life that she would be the new companion. You didn't like her in Biodome? You go to hell. Biodome rules. With Polly Shore? <laughs> Absolutely. I actually enjoyed Biodome. And Stephen, Stephen Baldwin, and? I didn't enjoy her, I didn't enjoy her in the Christmas special, though. Taylor Negron, also in and Biodome. And speaking of Biodome, we need to find out <laughs> what people are drinking. As a special yes. request from the chat room I think to that get is you guys the, oh my talking God, please about please Doctor fucking Who. shut up. We don't want to hear about Doctor Who anymore. That's to Rosie. Right. So... Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, what are we am drinking? I supposed to if sing you for take Rick? Off your shirt. No. What are you drinking? Um, We're doing I'm drinks. boring. I'm drinking a dirty dry gin martini. And? Chris at work is drinking a cran raspberry and vodka. Cran raspberry and vodka? Mm-hmm. It's fruity. Uh-huh. Fruity goodness. Although, he was drinking Lagavulin uh, during the yeah. radio show. 
Lagavulin and Sprite. Which you're only allowed to drink as long as you can keep pronouncing it. Is that Lagavulin. the rule? You're only allowed one drink during the tech episode, and then you can drink later. And, and Which is a bad idea. And Verso is drinking, um, let's see, she's drinking cran raspberry lime juice. That's right. Uh, vodka and triple sec and grenadine. Yes. And um, I'm. Dr. Normal, what are you consuming? Um, Gloria Ferrar. Sonoma County. <laughs> He's drinking she's a She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hear she's lovely. She's very sweet and tasty, I'm telling you. Apparently, she's a bitch because I don't like it when my husband drinks other women. I'd have to say she's very full bodied. So, speaking of Gloria <laughs> Ferrar, Chris, don't you have an announcement for us tonight? <laughs> Absolutely. Tell us um, a story, can, Chris. May I please Thank hold you. the David Tennant? You may, you may, as long as you don't let your son pull him apart. I have to applaud. <laughs> oh, don't from- he came all the way from Cardiff. No, no, seriously. No. He came from Cardiff. Be nice to him. Respect Back him. He came from Cardiff. Yeah, oh, yeah. This would hurt in your ear. And the announcement is... <clears throat> I am officially, after unofficially two or three times on Twitter, announcing my plan to run for city council in 2010. For city Woo! council? Yes. Woo! Yay! Chris O'Rourke for city council. And how will you propose to destroy every copy of this podcast out on the internet? <clears throat> Actually, I plan on following the Obama playbook of, mm-hmm. um, well, letting other 527s and other types of people verbally destroy my opponents while I just sit there and smile cheerfully and say, change. Yeah. Look, I even have I have the electoral thumb gesture. I mean, because I could really. Are you going to get buttons? Absolutely. And and stickers? Can I have some? Absolutely. Will you set up a WordPress site? Absolutely. I'm actually going to be using BuddyPress so people can uh, do that whole social networking thing. Excellent. I'll vote for you if you give me. I hear that works in politics now. It's all about social networking. So I, I mean, I could just see on one of the local television stations, you know. Do you know that Chris O'Rourke said this about Doctor Who? You know, and then start playing the podcast, and then you know, absolutely, yeah. I don't yeah. think he said anything incriminating. It'll be taken out of context. Perhaps I actually, Chris did O'Rourke it. drinks a little too much Chris Lagavulin. O'Rourke. Is this man ready for? I'm I have a Irish. Question. Me I have a... not drinking would be like Ted Kennedy not driving Wait, off a bridge. You're Irish, and I'm Scottish. Should we be fighting? No, none of us are English. I hope. No, anybody English? Irish. We're Irish. all oppressed. Uh, we're, Dr. Not, we're not is, talking about my heritage. Dr. Normal and, and, is not Irish, Scottish, or English. I, I just am uh, black that, Irish, yeah. so I'm oppressed. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, oppressed man. Good. So let me ask so you. So why are you going to run for city council? That was my question, bitch. Oh, snap. Oh. <laughs> what makes you, I'm going to ask now, what made you want to run for city council? Uh, facetiously, I will say I am a uh, narcissistic asshat and attention whore. Which uh, oh yeah, much like me, fantastic. Yes, um, which I needed to talk to Doctor Normal about changing the name of the show over to Chris O'Rourke's Strange Love. But, mm, uh, yeah, no, I, I shouldn't do that on the air. Um, no, no, no. No, it's um, featuring Chris O'Rourke. Growing up here, <laughs> I, the Price is Right. The the whole With concept Chris O'Rourke. of. Yeah, I'll sell the whole damn show to you right now. Okay. <laughs> Write a check, baby. Oh, yeah, give us money. We might change the name. That's true. <laughs> Only if I can film here and... Uh, f- Actually, I think I'm going to film inside your bar cabinet. Oh, our our <laughs> bar cabinet down. is nice, yeah. Um, No, the, uh, the, the main reason is growing up here, I, I've always uh, really liked the whole keep Portland weird. I mean, we're a unique place. We're not like... Ooh. Those other evil places. Oregonian Steve could be your campaign manager. Actually. Have you met Oregonian Steve? A couple of times. He's fantastic. He's a great He's guy. all about the Keep Portland Weird. The chat room would like to know who you would be running against. I have no idea at this point because it's in 2010 is the next election. and uh, That's really not that far from now. I don't know who's going to be year stepping and down. two months. It'll be another Twitter person. It'll be like Cami Chaos or something. Or Tarosi. It'll be someone will and step Cammy in. Cami Chaos just is be not like crazy. currently It'll just be ready Portland to run. Geek no, you Smackdown. Got, actually, I would You've love to have. You've got a boneyard in your although, closet, baby. Although it's too bad he doesn't need like a vice. I want Tarosi Running to be my uh, first a vice manager. A, like, a vice city Chris, council Chris, that was member. a great speech. Let's go have some scotch now. <laughs> Yay. Uh, we all know man. I don't drink scotch. I'm Chris O'Rourke and I approve this drink. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. I approve this beverage. That's right. 
And we're feeling very patriotic, right? No, so, I, yeah. I, uh, I actually want to oh, do it because I hate the PDC. You? you hate the PDC. The why P- do you hate why? why? They're those wondrous people that want to take uh, a large portion of Waterfront Park and turn it into condos because Lord knows mm. everyone moved to Portland. Oh, because no, no. We don't have enough condos. Mm. No. We need mm. more condos. It's it's a terrible terrible state of affairs. And, I need twenty. Uh, are you talking condos. about the Greenfield area um, next to the Ross Island Bridge, where the OHSU area? No, or? no. They actually want to take some of Tom McCall Waterfront Park and turn it into mm. condos. Why would they, they turn the waterfront park into condos? Because rich people need to have places on the river. For God's sakes, Cammy. I mean, if rich <laughs> people can't have what they want, then what's the point in kowtowing to their every women desire? I mean, Cammy Chaos loves rich people. I like rich people's money. I do too. If they gave me their money, I might like them more. Absolutely. Um, I, I used to win friends a, and influence people. Advertise Kimmy on Chaos Strange is Love a Live. Whore. Rich people. <laughs> Doc okay. Normal at gmail dot com. <laughs> no, no, it's not Doc Normal. It's Doctor. That's normal. what I said. You I said Doc Normal. Just Google me. You're a bitch. It's Doctor Normal at gmail dot com. Mom and Dad, the kids Give don't like it money. when you fight on camera. <laughs> Stop we fighting. enjoy it. This is foreplay. Oh. Foreplay. <laughs> that explains the porn music interlude. Yes. <laughs> so and why so nobody the, was on camera? So the PDC. So hmm, that's interesting. Okay, someone tell me what PDC stands so for officially. Portland, Portland Development, Development Council. Commission. Thank you. Or council Commission. See, is it council, council or think, commission? Yeah. Commission. Commission. I don't know. Whatever. Uh. I'm an uninformed candidate. I'm a <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Would you like me to be one of your advisors? <laughs> Can we throw you a party at Teb? Uh, the Green Beer and Blog? I, yeah. I would totally love that. And I would hope that all of the, the tweeps, because I feel Tweep. like a dirty bastard. Is it tweeps or tweeple? Either way. It depends. Some people say people and some people or, say peeps. And or it's the same sort of thing. What like you really Trekkie want, Trekker. you really want the Twitterati. Ooh. I, I actually Look would... at you reading the Twitter dictionary. Oh, is it in the Twitter dictionary? <laughs> yeah. Twitchinary. I'm savvy. Well, not everybody knows that. And I think I'm a great candidate because I did, in fact, invent the greatest word in the Portland tech community history. What is it? Port Vangelist. <gasps> Port you Vangelist. You invented that? I invented that word. Really? That was so, uh, let me ask you, who invented Port Vangelista? That would be uh, Zolotl. Oh, Nate Angel. Yeah. It's not that Zolotl. Like it's Halotl. <laughs> Hummus? Yes. <laughs> Hi, really? Nate. How you doing, baby? So, did you set up... It, <laughs> So Port Vangelis, is there actually a site or is it just kind of a Doctor Down? <laughs> Doctor Downer. No, I mean is it I mean is it a is it a <laughs> What are you doing? No, I'm looking at your wedding ring. Oh Lord. Obviously oh, uh, Celtic harps. As it's I said so on pretty. Twitter earlier today, I thought last week was the night podcasting died. <laughs> no, he has yeah. a very, very pretty Celtic wedding ring. That's nice. You have Celtic stuff too. I know I have Celtic stuff too. The chat room says, "Please continue drinking." Yeah, is is is, is Port Vangelis? Is, I want to know what the is there chat a room site, thinks. Or is it just I kind of the whole drink? Port Vangelis this Twitter is almost thing? Empty. Actually, Scott oh, Keaton uh, registered the domain. Okay, that's what I was. Yeah. Who registered it? Scott Keaton, <sighs> Mr. Well, Bacon. I mean, he. You know, I might like Scott if he ever did my show. Became a Port Vangelis, right? Yep, and it, the sites had never been touched. Right. However, the Port Vangelista site, which is running on the far inferior Drupal platform. Oh, uh, yeah. Freaking <laughs> Drupal. Drupal. Now, see, this, this is this is what we want on Strange Love Live. Some Drupal smackdown. We, where's Nate? Get, get oh, Nate on the phone. Right? Sorry about that. I, I hear Drupal, and I think... Uh, Why don't like, you like Drupal? I think of that dog. Droopy dog. What was his name? Uh, yeah, the doggy. Yeah. Droopy. The, droopy. His name was Droopy Dog. It's one of my yeah. two favorite cartoon characters from my droopy. childhood. When I think and the other? Chilly Willy. <gasps> Chilly Willy the penguin. Oh, he was so cute and, and he was so cold and he just wanted a warm And anybody place. who screwed with him, they went down. That's true. Down if you fuck with Chilly Willy babies. Down Who's to the- Chilly Willy. Oh, I'm not oh. even talking to you anymore. You are obviously a very old man. Back, it was, was just after you on talkies. And then, wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. But when it all went colored, let's get an do you age remember thing. that? Versa, what's the what's the golden age number here? Let's see for Chili Willie. No, no. What's how old are you, baby? 
Is he like? Oh, do I have to? What was that? Alex the alligator. Uh, uh, not Wally counting Gator that your birthday is like, like next Wally week. Gator. Yeah, <laughs> old school Hanna Barbera. Thirty three, thirty three, thirty three, thirty three, and thirty one. So we all know Chili Willie, and you are an old Shut fucking fuck man. <laughs> You're just, an just old even... fucking man. I'm sorry. I'll get you off your better, lawn here in a minute, Doctor. <laughs> when um, when, when my wife is yell. her age, I'll almost be as old as you. Uh, yeah, no, you have a thirteen nice. year age difference. Uh, ten. 10. Very yeah. close, yeah. 13? Nice. Jesus. I know, he's a cradle robber. My wife and I have been together for three years, which was made her 13... <laughs> I was just going to say. 17 when we met? Oh. Yeah. Do I, I look like R. Kelly? I'm yeah, I glad was, you pulled that see. out. Dude, I'm trying to do the math. 13, was, 17, wonderful. I was 22 when we met. Cigarettes and, <laughs> you know, marrying your underage cousins. That's what we stand for here at Strange Love Live. <laughs> Dude, nobody is Four out of five doctors of their, recommend. Their wow. You're not a very good campaign advisor, Wait a minute, doctor. Where's, where's the uh, Jerry Lee Lewis music here? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm, I'm not so your sorry. cousin. And, and I was almost 23 when I met you. Like almost. a week off of being 23. Yeah, well, you were way hotter when you were 22. A- actually, oh. I, I, I would like to say it's, it's not a cousin's thing. But uh, without delving too much oh, um, into the Sarah Palin stuff. Yeah. Did I make a cousin's dad? Okay, that's not yeah. exactly what I meant that's to say. Not I, make I actually, jokes. in 1986, I, I did once dress as uh, Goose and and the other Maverick. So Wait, I, no, I we, actually have been a Maverick. I think officially. We, I think there we have you discussed kidding, about you this. You're kidding. You dressed as. I like Maverick Hells better than yeah. Goose. Top Gun. I know. You, wait, wait. You liked Tom Cruise better than Anthony Edwards? Oh, wait, Seriously? no. I'm thinking. No, no. I'm Are getting you, confused. Like, I like Val uh, Kilmer. Val oh. Kilmer. He was Iceman. Iceman. I like Iceman better. I didn't like the movie Top Gun very much. You know, neither. But that's really weird because you're both one like of the watching worst the films ever. Made. <sighs> exactly. When I was a kid, it was awesome. Take my breath away. Well, Take I mean, it's great flying scenes. She was right? a Playboy playmate. Oh wait, I'm not allowed to. Go to. Go I'm going to beat to Rosie to the punch, Cammy. No singing. <laughs> I mean, go to. Hey, uh, when are we going to have our Twitter karaoke night so I can sing without getting chewed out? I am totally all when? about you uh, doing karaoke over Twitter. Let's there's, there's have no karaoke. Audio. I'm not allowed to sing because Rick says no, no. You should take my wife out to do karaoke. Time and place. I haven't to gotten sing. to meet your wife yet. Yeah. You stay home with the boys. I'll take Zoe out. It's Zoe, right? That it way you Zoe. don't yeah. have to listen to us sing. So see everybody win. So dear Excellent. Zoe, Chris will stay home with the boys and you and me and Verso will go out drinking and karaokeing. You got to get Miss Burroughs in there too because she's actually met Zoe. Yeah, I don't know that she will agree to sing, but Leah, you're my bitch, and you're going out with me. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe she'll agree to drive us around. Ooh, Ooh. Dee Dee. Hey, will you be our designated driver, Miss Burroughs? I'll Let's ask see. you tomorrow when I see you. The uh, That would be a good idea. It's, it's interesting that the, the two women don't like uh, <laughs> Top Gun. I mean, considering they were just talking about how they liked well-muscled Hello. men wandering it's a around Tom naked. Tom Cruise movie. I said I, I like, like Tom hot Cruise. dudes. Yeah, I like Val Kilmer, though. I give... Wouldn't he be a great <sighs> Harry Potter even today? Because he's like that tall. Dude, he's just creepy and ucky. <laughs> yeah. No. Am I the only person that hopes that Obama goes on Oprah before he becomes president and just totally makes fun of Tom Cruise? Does he like the whole shaking Goes everything? up and jumps on the couch. <laughs> no, no, that would be perfect. He jumps on the couch and goes, I'm president, I'm president, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I totally you know what? I have to change. Admit, you can believe it. Today, today while I folded laundry and ironed on Girl Scout pouches and did other chores, I watched the Batman Begins movie. Very nice. And this actually had some really relevant stuff with what we were just talking about. You're equating the election with Batman. Okay, um, I have a question. <laughs> What oh no, Katie Holmes. I was because Katie Holmes is married to Tom Cruise. Oh, That's where the link was. I got gotcha. you. That poor, poor Scientology nice. warbird. I don't understand. So, what it's is so the five hundred three clan? What do you know about it? When and where? And, and can um, you tell us so that they stop saying so that they will say something else in the chat room? Yeah. Um, I will say until I find out exactly which 503 member it is that's... Uh, Someone said anti-hero and I'm supposed to hit you. Anonymous. Excellent. It's what? anti. Um, it is... I, I am a diehard video game player. Mm. Which, um, <gasps> no. I know. It's no. Cool. You like video games? If only they had a Doctor Who game. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, oh my God. Somebody make a Doctor Who game. I'll still play it. And For the Wii, please. Wii. 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 Okay. Wii. Do you have a Wii? 
I don't have a Wii. You Although suck. one you of wait 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 one suck. of my co I have a large LCD TV and two toddlers. Kelly, can we talk to him anymore? Because he doesn't have a Wii. So I'm getting one. I Damn think it. We might be able to. So you're talking PC games, right? I also have an Xbox 360 and a PS2. Which, Which, it's what not do you like best? What do you like? PC? Rig, oh God, yeah. Rig, P, you know, so you got like the the keyboard and mouse is the only way to go. And the co- cooling system and the you name it. Nothing. The nothing overclock. quite like that. I, I am a uh, daytime Mac user, nighttime. Well, Vista you don't play core. games on a Mac. Oh. That's <gasps> You're a Vista whore. I have Vista 64 bit running on a quad core with five gigs of RAM. Vista whore. You're five still gigs. a shameless Microsoft hussy. Also, Vista. Steam. Whore. Wait a minute. Five gigs of RAM. Steam. We should talk about this during it. after hours. This is after five hours. Five, five, oh yeah, that's right. What am I thinking? <laughs> you're drinking less than Change. us, and so you're making you can less believe sense. in. Okay. Um, oh, I, there I, is a Doctor Who game for the PS2. Thank you. <gasps> is it for the? Is you it know David Tennant? Calm down, Martha's on the cover. Lackinson. Okay, wait. Oh, oh. Uh, no, no. Mm. Have you okay. seen the action figure? Yeah. How if fun you look would that s- game be? Oh, look, I'm kidnapped. <laughs> oh, look, I'm kidnapped. Oh. I played that when they called it Mario. Dude, ooh, ooh, I have your classic Martha's Mario being held on the in a different castle. I, I'm sorry. I have a your question. Mar- your question, question, question. I want to know about his PC. Oh, no, no, I have a question that's more important. And it is. Do you download games for your Wii? Yes. Did you get the Super Mario Brothers? Not yet. Oh my God. I am come. up to my eyeballs in Strong no, no, no. Bad's cool game for First attractive so? people. No, just come over and play, sweetie. Okay. We have it here. Awesome. When okay. you travel, do you take your Wii? I take mine. Oh, <laughs> wherever I go. That's a different wee baby. And I have fun with it, too. That's your wee wee. <laughs> so, um... R. Kelly what? What? My, <laughs> my favorite and the best game ever, bar none, for the PC I is feel Team like Fortress Okay, wait, wait. PC? Mine, PC. We don't play games on the PC, honey. We play games on the Wii. Okay. Get, well, they don't have the orange box for the Wii. Oh, orange box. Orange box. Portal. Oh. Portal. Kimmy is naive. And Team Fortress. Okay. The cake is a lie. This game, Team, Team Fortress Two, is, is it very. Time for, is it time for the Avenger Brothers talk yet? No. In a sec. Team Fortress okay. Two. You can play as uh, Do I have one to of ten shoot classes. Anybody? You get to shoot people. I don't like to shoot people. If you're a pyro, you can use a flare Unless gun. Unless I'm playing uh, Zelda. You can light people on fire and. Oh, they, I like lighting people. On and fire. they run around <laughs> screaming, "I am on fire!" And then they fall down dead. Do they scream, I am the fire starter? That would be awesome. That if you would could be the, brilliant. The, the punk guy from uh, Prodigy. But uh, the clan I'm in Don't is based in anymore. Portland. Half of the clan are a bunch of losers and live in Southern California. Oh, wait, wait. This is the wait, whole is thing where you're like Warcraft or what? online with other people. Yes. I don't play well too. with others. Oh, Team Fortress 2. I don't like other people. Of course. And Counter-Strike. Like, unless they're Kelly. And Counter-Strike. That's and, the Xbox oh. 360. They have both of those. Are, I think yeah. Counter-Strike's available on uh, the 360. I don't know. I'm not a Counter-Strike player. Okay. I just play Team Fortress 2 because I can use an axe and light people on fire as a pyro. Hmm. And that's glory. Right. right. And my clan that uh, we're a competitive clan is the 503 Portland Bong Squad which <gasps> that Dude. clan's about marijuana. <gasps> which not scandal marijuana. number one? It is a scandal. It's a scandalous, scandalous, scandalous thing. But like a large percentage of Portlanders I, I have been known to Habitually smoke marijuana. <gasps> no, not you, Chris. Oh my god, it's so sad. I can't believe it. It's okay. Right now, I'm on the patch. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> wow. the patch. Wait a minute. Can I get Every, one? Everyone wait, just wait, wait, stop saying that. Wait a minute. There's a pot patch. Dude, can I get the Hang THC on. patch? Uh, I was waiting for the Where results. There it? is not currently a Counter Strike for 360. There's oh a petition word. to make it happen. No, no, no. Sh- not. Sh- no, no. The silence. About the THC pot patch. patch. It's like Give it up the information. You'd Where be like do at you work get it? Going, what you do? Hey. Okay, okay. <laughs> you get some DMSO. Oh my what god! What the hell is an DMSO? It's I have an no extract from wood. I yes, it it basically if you rub DMSO mixed with anything onto your skin, it will pass through the pores and be mm-hmm. entered into your bloodstream. Famously used by the late Jimi Hendrix. Well, what will it do to you? Because if it's a hallucinogen, I'm not no, on because DMSO, my brain is no, fucked it, up. It just it's an industrial your, solvent. Yeah. Dimethyl sulfoxide. Oh, I don't. No, yeah. no. no. Yep. Oh, ew. I want a THC patch. Well, yeah, you mix hash with DMSO <laughs> oh, and then just slap it on. And it'll just soak right in. And that's legal, right? <laughs> so Absolutely. we've gone from the Doctor Who podcast to the Gamers podcast to the Ganja podcast. <laughs> Wouldn't that make it a podcast? Exactly. Dude. And quite frankly, out of those three, and, and I'm 
I'm, I'm a pretty mellow guy. I'd probably go with the third one just because it's fun and we could play a lot of cool reggae. I have to say, <clears throat> oh, I have to yeah. tell a story yeah. from back in the day. Back in the day when shit was real and I was hardcore. And Dr. Norman was a good little boy who never did drugs. Kim McCass used to smoke pot and then eat cashews and Twinkies and drink Pepsi. Yeah, but and watch Buffy the Vampire because, Slayer. That's and it because was Pepsi? that's because on an episode of it was Dragnet, before bringing Coke it back is before around, my Cherry Coke love, bringing it back around to television. Because on an episode of Dragnet, a young couple drowned their baby in the mm-hmm. bathtub because they smoked pot. Because oh, and that is why Doctor Normal does not exactly. ever 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 do drugs and has never ever done so, drugs. Because Doctor Normal is a goody goody boy. When when you say Classic back episode, in the old days up. when you were drinking, back in can, the day, can you hold your drink up, please? When you were drinking. Pepsi. This is before I consumed wait, cherry wait. coke. Oh, okay. So it's cherry coke, and uh, you were watching Buffy mm-hmm. and eating cashews. Weren't, weren't you doing all of those things when I arrived for the show tonight? Shh. Buffy's no longer on. No, if only there's... they'd invented some sort of optical media to uh, hold entire episodes or seasons even of a show. I only own episode. I'm um, sorry. Excuse me. I only <laughs> own season one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And freaking Hulu only has season one and season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I will go on record as saying I was an Angel fan. But oh, Buffy God. Angel is Angel so much better than Buffy. Like 16 billion trillion times better than Buffy. If they would have featured Allison Hannigan hugely in every episode of Buffy as opposed to the weird so freakish hot. Mrs. Freddie Prince Jr. Daphne nonsense. No, I agree with ah. you. Ugh. I'm sorry. Allison okay. Hannigan is a gorgeous woman. I'd rather wake up next to uh, Billy She's... Piper than oh. ever watch wow. Buffy again. Hey, by the way, Tarosi says Angel sucks. Oh, Tarosi? Obviously, he hasn't seen the puppet episode while oh my God, ingesting the puppet mushrooms. Episode, the puppet episode. That right. was on a trip to Take Canada. Take your meds, Candy Chaos. <laughs> Rick, wow. I have a Get the thing. THC patch with the DMSO. Okay. Wait, uh, since since uh, Teresa's in the Rick, I have a hizzle. thing or five to say to you, but I will save it until I see you in person because kiss my ass is not appropriate. Blog talk. It is uh, is is Tarosi willing to be my uh, uh, campaign spokesperson? He said he yeah, would he be a speechwriter. Totally. Oh. oh, but Ooh. you know what? You have to keep in mind that he also promised to sing karaoke with Melissa Lyon and I. So you don't, I mean, consider whether or not you even want him to do that. Let's well, turn I, that into Twitter Oki Night, and we'll just take Rick? Mrs. Chris's and you and me and Leah and Melissa and Rick. Yeah. Rick, I, I, I'm, I'm all I'm, about, I'm, about I'm, it. I'm promising you right now. <gasps> Rick you're says get a he's a backup shirt. singer. You are Ooh. not getting out of that, mister. Oh, Rick, you are doing it. You are doing it. We're singing Patsy Cline, baby. <gasps> That's what it is. We're going to oh. sing Patsy Cline. Really? And Millie Vanilli. No, no, Patsy Klein. Millie Vanilli didn't even sing Millie Vanilli. Come on. Hey, that guy You've killed never... himself. Knock it off. Oh. Or Willie guy. Nelson. Wait, no. I I'm willing to accept himself. Willie Nelson. I wouldn't have two if I had put he out that crap. Rick, if you want to sing Willie Nelson with me, I'm willing to accept we could sing uh, Seven Spanish Angels, <gasps> Willie Nelson, and... and uh... Julio. No, no, it wasn't Julio. It wasn't. Ray Price. Oh, so I thought we'd moved away from pot talk. And oh, not Ray Price. Oh Willie my Nelson. God! Yeah, Ray. No. She's a one track mind. <laughs> Singing. Ray Charles. Thank you. She just you. hit herself in the head with one of the most awesome <laughs> sound you know effects that? on Strange Love Live. Just. <laughs> did you I'm know that David we Tennant's cl- favorite like, vacation destination is Amsterdam? Think about it. I love David Tennant. Did you know that Tennant and is even, not really his last name? It's not because there was. It was. It is it McDonald? I think. I think so. Because someone, another actor was already registered with the name David McDonald. So he had to choose another last name. Pet and Shop because Boys. he's partial to the Pet Shop Boys, he chose the lead singer and mm-hmm. co-songwriter of the Pet mm-hmm. Shop Boys, mm-hmm. Neil Tennant, for his and last name. And speaking of you. Pet Shop Boys, Chris, and I love which David seat Tennant would you so be much? running for at the city council? <laughs> I don't Dr. know Dr. Normal accepts my love of David Tennant. It depends on where I move. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave my incredibly... Pathetic, pathetic residents and move to some place that's got more room. Wait, which area of the city do you live in? Right now we're in the southeast area. It's like six miles from here. There you go. I think that you should look southeast. in, uh, in Selwood. East side. And East West Marlin because the current sad economy is making the uh, housing market go Almost down. affordable. Almost affordable in my neighborhood. You should consider. If elected, that would actually be one of my goals. Is uh, we had looked at some of the the apartments that have rent control, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, if you make over twenty seven thousand dollars a year, you can you can't get any of these places. And it's like, well, you know, I have a wife and two kids. If if I make 
under fifty thousand dollars a year, I don't eat. <laughs> and that, yeah, exactly. And that sucks. Yeah. So, I I I'm, I want to end the uh, New Yorkification of. Uh, Portland. I mean, mm-hmm. people move here because Portland's cool. Trying to make it just like everywhere else. Yeah. Screw that. That's not well, who we are. So, what's your vision of Portland in the future? Because, and I ask because having grown up here myself and a little bit older, and I've said this before on the podcast, when I was growing up in the in the seventies and the early, Portland was a shithole. Oh, you yeah. didn't come downtown. You didn't look at the oh, Willamette God. River. There were logs and <laughs> stuff in the river. It was just like... When I moved here, I there mean, were still logs and shit in the river. Yeah, you drove like over the bridge and went to oh, the yeah. shopping mall or whatever. I mean, it, it was it was terrible. I mean, I think Meyer and Frank and and um, on the west side and the old Meyer and Frank, and the, which is gone now. Thank you, Macy's. Um, oh, dude, they the new Macy's. The exactly. I have to say the Macy's has great brows. But... But it is okay. excruciatingly white. Yeah, yeah I remember Lloyd Center without bras. a roof. And, and exactly. And Lloyd Center without a roof. But Dude, like no way. Lloyd Lizard. Center didn't have a roof? <laughs> no. no, there was a huge skating rink in the middle, but there was no yeah. roof. No, there's still And they had reindeers in Santa Claus. Yeah, there is mm-hmm. now, but it used and, to all be open. Those were like your destinations. Everything That's else like was California. just like, you know, oh, yeah. the Memorial Coliseum once in a while for a Globetrotters game or I think the <gasps> best something. The Globetrotters yes. would come to Portland? Well, especially I the, love the Globe yeah. Trotters on Scooby Doo. It was mm-hmm. Globe they were awesome. Trotters, Scooby, not Globe Trotters. <laughs> I think Family we have chaos. Bud Clark to thank for. I, I'd say Portland hit its sweet spot in about eighty five or eighty six, and stayed there till I want to say ninety five. Yeah. Oh, oh, so you're saying that me moving the here we caused here, the it downfall? All is what you're saying? Fuck you. Did I say it started to suck? No, I said it's sweet you said, spot. You said you said until ninety five. Ninety five is the exact year that I moved here. Me too. Where did I you love come you from? Verso. But we don't want to talk about where I came from. Where'd you come from? California and Texas. What part of California? Which which time? Because I, I lived all over California. Pick one. Most recently, I lived outside of San Francisco. I am actually from Palo Alto, originally. Oh, <gasps> you're not a Portland native? I am a... I, I moved here when I was three. Oh, well. Yeah, close enough. That basically counts. Yeah. The chat room would like to know what you're writing. Yeah. Uh, the chat room will see soon. It's okay. a suicide note because she just found out that David Tennant's completely retiring from acting altogether. It's so sad. Aww. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Can you all read that? Person? Okay, that's that's beautiful. I came from out east. <coughs> um, I grew up in a town with no traffic lights. That's you're from fantastic. Eastern Oregon. Yeah. yeah, Eastern Oregon, not out east. Okay. But make it's it basically like you're another from country. New York. If they you've make ever blankets been there. there, don't they? That's Pendleton. I didn't even come from Pendleton. Pendleton, Pendleton was Pendleton civilization blanket. compared to where I grew up. We have yeah. a little Pendleton blanket for little baby K. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. that's nice. So, so okay. So, stop the condos, right? Please. They the, they have their own locale that you mm-hmm. know they're more than welcome. I don't uh, have a problem with condos existing, just taking over but the what whole do you, city. What do you think they've torn down? To put the condos in that, there's phenomenal well, on Burnside, places. It was like rent controlled apartments. They pulled down and put up condos, wasn't it? Right. Yep. Yeah. In Northwest, they did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do we really want the rest of the city to end up having Portland, Northwest Portland's uh, parking nightmare? Oh Jesus Christ! Seriously. I-, I lived there. If my friends were coming over, I had to go and sit outside with a folding chair, no matter if it was raining, snowing, no sleeting, and Just I'd to sit get there. them a parking space. And people like you need to move your fucking ass right now. And like, screw you. This is my house right here. Mm-hmm. My parking place. Right. I got chewed out at the quick stop we were talking about on the tech thing because some guys yeah. are like, well, I've lived here for 30 years. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. If you, people live here, they should have a parking place. Yep. And, you know, the, watching the gentrification of neighborhoods, sometimes it's worked like Hawthorne. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's sort of worked like Belmont. I'd say that's a really iffy. It, it's sort There's of. There's pieces of that that I are I think going Hawthorne's really well. pretty iffy as well sometimes. It's worked in this area here, this neighborhood here. Do you guys this have was, a zoo pans? This was. Uh, across no. the river. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ours, John's is, Landing. ours is in John's Landing. We have a New Seasons, yeah. though. Yeah, after, yeah. Oh, I love New Seasons. But yeah. after the Legion Attack uh, meeting thing a couple weeks ago, I went into Zoo Pans to think, oh, I'll get the some dinner. The one on Belmont? Yeah. And I was like, uh, by the pie duck cow? pate. It's like yeah. $76. I was like, yeah. why the fuck is this in a grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to buy this. Um, I like that Zoo Pans. It's like, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. There, there's a lot of mom and pop markets that... Um, 
you know, people don't really think about because everything's gone. I mean, we've got some great, great chains that are actually based here, like Pizza Cotto. Mm. I love their pizza. We can walk there. See, that's fantastic. To that's me, awesome. it's all about what I can walk to. If I walk <laughs> to it, then I consider it local. And that's something that they're trying to do in uh, the 80s, just on the other side of 82nd, like between 76th and 82nd mm-hmm. on Stark and Washington, is they're Absolutely. trying to build some of that up and make it better. Like they restored the Academy Theater next to Flying Pie Pizza, so you can go see a cheap movie there. Um, so there's like that going on. They've got a couple of restaurants that have opened up in that area and they're really trying hard to make that something that's, you know, easy to see and and walkable. And part of that I I think is very handy. But of course the problem with that is that the bounding edge of it is 82nd and you know, that's difficult. So it's difficult. Yeah. So the, so the, the, the important point and out of the chat room, (coughs) so it's just kind of local businesses encouraging rather than the chains. And I think, I think everyone, I mean, I know most people in in the city are very, those are the places we like, right? Locally owned. I mean, New Seasons is a locally owned store chain, you know, Um, and they get Portland. I mean, they do. They were one of the first major companies that service large amounts of customers that had a Twitter account. But and the they give away stuff. I was impressed when I saw their total account. I was like, oh my God. I've gotten a $20 gift yeah, card from them. pick up yeah. your shopping carts from my neighborhood, please. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. It's yeah. all about their pulled pork Two sandwiches. Two weeks in the corner. Mm, oh, really? Cause Dial in for dollars. I have some other stuff <clears throat> that's very good, too. <laughs> I'm going to melt it for money. Um, <laughs> there was a... Anyway, well, In order to interpret for Dr. Normal, someone left a New Seasons shopping cart in front of our house. And we could not get them to come pick the well, freaking thing Well, it wasn't someone. It was a person. It was me. Yeah. What, what's the politically correct term for a homeless person with a shopping cart? A homeless person with a shopping cart <laughs> is a politically correct term. Um, Ditched their cart in front of our house. you can house. believe in. Yes. Actually, By homeless way, people don't um, exist in Portland. Vera Katz closed all of our shelters in 1994. and um, No, but we have more shelters that are opened up now. Well, yes, but when she closed them, she made the statement, if there's no shelters, there are no homeless people in Portland anymore. Oh, Those because, people- God forbid, if they don't have a shelter, they have obviously well, got a home. It's not as bad mm-hmm. as other cities. I remember, I mean, I haven't been up to Seattle in, in some oh, yeah. time. Last time boy, I was up in Seattle. When I go up to Seattle, it was like, I, I actually you know, did in L.A.? I mean, Ooh. you know, yeah. I mean, it, well, it's because like, it's warmer. I mean, seasonally speaking, it's better yeah. to be homeless in L.A. where it's not I, as cold. I actually worked right. the uh, the the recent uh, homeless demonstration in front of the city hall. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Just a couple months ago. I yeah. actually stood out there for the uh, sit lie ordinance, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many places that for would be what? phenomenal. It was called the sit lie ordinance. Chris, you may have to help me out a little bit on this one. But basically it was you're not allowed to. Uh, sit for an extended oh, okay. period or lie yeah. on a oh, bench gotcha, and then gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. and you work because this you, was the same sort I, of I thing. stood out and, and just kind of uh, helped populate the, the line because it was horrifyingly bad rain and uh-huh. uh, it just seemed like the right thing to do so you stood with them and mm-hmm. oh. I have um, two huge problems that probably make me unfit for city or um, any kind of municipal service um, you're on this podcast and yeah yeah I can't stand willfully stupid people. If you, if you come up and like, well, for example, oh, if Sarah Palin was standing in front of me, I would bitch slap her. So how do you feel about being on the show right now? I'm enjoying it because <laughs> Be you guys, um, we have good gear. <laughs> Absolutely, willfully stupid people with gear. I don't like willfully. No, stupid willfully people. stupid is completely different. Like if you just don't know and you ask somebody a question and you're genuinely interested in the answer. Because you want to learn something new. That's completely different. And most yeah, people right. who do know will take the time to explain that to you. Yeah. And if, if you I, want knowledge. Right. And if you've had things explained to you and have decided reality isn't quite as important as the fact that I still get to hate gay people or hate Mormon people or whoever it is I want to be hating on or I'm going to decide that the answer to this problem is something completely stupid like a constitutional amendment. Not that I'm on a soapbox or anything, but you did want it to be <laughs> topical, doctor. So that sort of thing is, it good? So is willful of it, ignorance, which I do not have time for. I'm enjoying the special guest of Verso. Exactly. <laughs> so I mean, he we turned need on the microphone. to make it's sure that problem. Verso has I, I, her I almost, microphone. Like, I, I could have hit the button, but I didn't. It was I'm in complete said. agreement. And, and that's uh, why we're friends, Doctor. Done. Speaking of the election, the fact that um, I, I think the total number of voters in the Portland area was like, or in Multnomah County, was like 287,900 something. And the breakdown for Merkley was, was like 197,000. Yeah. Merkley yeah. won. Woohoo! 
not. He's a nice guy. Did you know he used to be a uh, national security advisor I for the not. Pentagon? Yeah, I heard that on NPR really like on the that. drive over here. That's interesting. I was like, wow, that's uh, yeah. screw Double the cool. Pentagon. Um, I want to get back to gentr- gentrification for one minute. because Not I, if I'm you still, can't pronounce I'm still, it. I know. <laughs> We're not it's allowed late. to discuss things um, that we can't pronounce, and if you can't I, pronounce things, no more drinking. There was an old it. actor in uh, the 40s and 50s named Dick Gentry, and it's uh, <laughs> making it the kind of place he wants to live. Exactly. Um, but, uh, you know, you're talking about what's going on in the city and and condos in the city and some of the things that are happening, but... You know, I moved back into the city from the suburbs and, and grew up in the suburbs. Yeah, I saw it in the suburbs. suburbs. And I saw the strip malls and the shopping malls and stuff go up. There. And that is the wor- that to me is the worst kind of, I don't even call it gentrification. It's just garbage. It's like, oh, let's oh, rip out this overly field urban, urbanized. and yeah. put in this gigantic freaking mall Which, and make sure all the cars have to you know, expand. the. <laughs> I mean, if you go out, my commute every day to work out. To Beaverton, Hillsborough way out. I mean, it's. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not a big fan. You know, the, uh, the, I like some of the urban density. You know, because the target, you can walk to things. You, 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 you. First of all, you can put the car away. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a. That to me is a big plus. I don't like McMansions. Yeah, yeah. So you know, in Hillsborough, there's sure a lot of them. You know where the target is in the is. suburbs, in the east side, west side. Yeah, on TV Highway. You know where the the target is. In Hillsborough, mm-hmm. I have pictures a, a three flying over four. that in a helicopter. The one on hundred eighty fifth. No, no, farther out than that. It's uh, three Hales. Or four. The one right off Beaverton Hales. Hales. Yeah, yeah. Beaverton yeah. Hillsdale Highway. And, and Hales Bar. When I was growing up, when we, I mean, there was nothing out no, there. No, I, I have pictures of the field that is now a, a strip mall. Yes, I had an aunt who lived out there who just. I mean, everybody had like I don't know X number of acres. In oh yeah, that's all it was. Out well, there. I mean, the, the progress yeah. is defined by, um, well people who run the PDC as being uh, you know you tear down a, a hazelnut orchard and mm-hmm. then name mm-hmm. all the streets after hazelnuts or, right or different. exactly and that's you know <clears throat> I, I like the the urban lifestyle uh-huh. I, mean, I don't live right in the thick of it but the idea that all of the design for the city seems to be gravitating uh-huh. towards what's best for the people who make hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year right exactly. Most people in Portland don't and never have, never will. Uh-huh. And I think shifting the, uh, the, the idea to what's best for everyone. And so far what I've seen from the city is, well, you know, if we keep bringing businesses in and giving them tax breaks galore, that'll create jobs. And it's like, well, the truth is most of those places say, screw you, you're out of here because we're losing money. Right, exactly. When was the last time you heard of anyone on the city council? It's like, you know, Portland's got budget overruns. It's like, great. You people have businesses that make you personally three, four hundred thousand dollars a year profit. Why don't you not take a salary uh-huh, and uh-huh. save two or three jobs of people who are peons? I mean, that's. Well, I think I think actually, you know, you're talking 2010. I think actually in the next year, a couple of years, you're going to see a lot of I mean, you know, if you look at all the malls that have been built and the strip malls that have been oh, out, yeah. built in the suburbs, and I would see them going up and office space and stuff, and I think, you know, at some point, you can't sustain that that build out, you know? Oh, right. The, the logic apparently is if you build it... it. Well, it's big because what happens in the suburbs when they build out a, a strip mall, they want anchor, big box, mm-hmm. um, uh, you know, uh, uh, businesses in there, and then because those businesses are all going out of business. Circuit City, exactly, exactly. It's, it's. You know, I, I spent seven terrible, terrifying, horrible, horrible years living in Richland, Washington. Which it happens. There are two types of people there. There are like blue collar farmers, mm-hmm. and then Hanford engineers. And wow, <laughs> that's that's an interesting and- mix of folks. And it's a it's a very interesting place. That was actually civilization from where I grew up. It was an I grew up an hour away from Kennewick. So whenever we Farmers wanted to actually and, shop, and Hanford and stuff, that's nuclear we engineers. Yeah. Oh yeah, rock in a hard place to find. Wow. Penultimately, and it, it sucks. That'd be cause... interesting bar conversations, right? <laughs> and I just uh, you know uh, made sure that our nuclear stockpile didn't just blow up and destroy the West Coast. My Small bit of trivia. Um, there's, I, I think the current count is like 520 uh, Rocky Mountain elk that uh, wander around the like 3,500 acres of the mm-hmm. Hanford Nuclear Reservation. And um, 
they can't be shot and and killed for hunting even when they go off of the actual uh-huh. nuclear range because they're too radioactive. But wow. there's no leaks, none. Wow, right. It's safe, but don't need uh, that. it'll kill you. And four percent of the some in the Horse Seven Hills are approximately are radioactive because the root goes right down into the. Oh yeah, yeah. It's um, and I've I've watched them. You know the the mall there. They have a mall. Yeah, actually, they kind of have one point four malls now. But um, <laughs> you watch, there'll be large sections that are just empty. Why? Because you know nobody has the money to to shop there because none of the places. Like Circuit City, they're a perfect example of what kind of things have gone wrong with our society. And I'm watching it start to happen here in Portland, and that's back in the day, Circuit City employees were commission-based. Mm-hmm. And then they wanted to be more competitive and in, increase the amount of products and the diversity of products they had, so they cut their commission. So suddenly, you know, I had a trip I was taking to go see U2 in Vancouver, B.C., and I wanted to buy a digital camera, and I was all excited. And I stood there for 30 minutes trying to get this guy's attention. He's like, you don't want to buy a digital camera. I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Here's my money. I want that one. Hand the damn thing to me. <laughs> Why would you hey, not my want to buy a digital here. camera? I, yeah, I know. And his mom's like, oh, we're so proud of you. And I'm like, your son's a fucking idiot. I'm oh, trying to give him my money and he won't take it. Oh, how dare you? I'm a nuclear engineer. And it's like, howdy crap. I'm a network engineer. Uh-huh. Ooh. <laughs> And uh, let's have an engineer off. Like, what are you, what are you supposed to awesome. say to that? You know, yeah. <laughs> Slide rules at 20 paces. What are you engineering? <laughs> well, I'm engineering this. Suck it. And, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to see Portland become Seattle or San Francisco. I've lived in both places. God, I've the traffic's worked in both getting places. that way. Exactly. Let me tell I was you. just going to say oh, really? the traffic. Oh, very yeah. San Francisco like. Yeah. And it's, um, for the most part, we've got a higher per capita usage of bicycles, public transit, and mm-hmm. the PDC and some members of the city council and a large member of the TriMet board is, oh, we got to get rid of Fairless Square. Like, no. Why would you get rid of yeah. Fairless Square? I propose, and if elected, I would propose that they actually pass a an increase for property taxes mm-hmm. that would just make it because well no my county doesn't have high enough mm-hmm. property taxes actually all the surrounding <laughs> counties funny. i think just pass something to make trimet completely free it's not a help you out there thank you i don't think it's a bad idea I, I just think that multnomah it. county has pretty high property taxes they do yes as opposed yes, to other counties i would like if uh and, you know, uh, if by some chance, well, actually, my parents will be watching this later and they live in San oh, Jose. No. Hello, Chris's no, mom and dad. No, 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 Hi. They know everything <laughs> about me. Yeah. Um, I think I think he has a relationship with his parents. It's much like my relationship. Hey, with Chris's my parents. parents. Check out the sex show. <laughs> Listen to mine and Miss Burroughs. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. It's a great episode. Much I let the kids watch it. It's a favorite. <laughs> Um, it's not called the sex episode though it's the sex sex episode episode. yes and it's a good thing Cammy stopped drinking because that came out right (laughs) exactly (laughs) no the uh, one more drink and it would have been (laughs) (laughs) there are people living in houses in the Bay Area in in, uh, Santa Clara County that you know they spent they bought it. And it's like 1976, and the oh, house was like $60,000. They still pay, they, they pay sales tax based on that, oh, or property word. tax, because yeah. it's fixed at the yeah, price you bought yeah. it at. Right. And the house, if they sold it, would be worth $2 million. Which then the new owners have to pay the Correct. property tax based on that. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Which, thank God Steve Jobs was smart and bought his super gigantic mansion, which actually isn't that big compared to some people. George Lucas, who's a hack, <laughs> who ruined the Indiana Jones series. Die! Um, Which was the <laughs> last Indiana Jones series Park that you enjoyed? That was the best to episode what ever. They did that was Indy. really good. Chris, I really you're not a geek, that. are you? And it was brilliant. <laughs> so, no, Chris, which was the last of the Indiana Jones movies that you enjoyed? The third one. The third one. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. We're on the Temple same of page. Doom? Mm. Temple no, of Doom, still beating one, heart. One good, three good, two. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I actually snuck into the theater to see the first, uh, or the Temple of Doom, mm-hmm. was the second movie, yeah. way back in 1984. I've been seeing Ghostbusters, which was rated PG. And PG then, like, then mm. PG then, as we discovered two years ago at Halloween, when we let our daughter watch Ghostbusters. Lots of smoking. PG then, totally different than PG now, because PG yeah. then was before they developed PG-13. Lots right, of smoking. Right, right. And it was good for you back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Four out of five doctors recommend smoking. 
four out of five doctors actually recommended Winston's. So let That's me right. ask Chris. Yeah. Um, Dr. Norman has not seen the latest of the Indiana Jones movies, but oh, I no. have. I thought we were going to talk about something way more interesting. Wait, what's know. the worst movie you've ever seen in your life? Ooh, good question. It um, made Showgirls look like Citizen Kane. Did you watch Showgirls? <laughs> <laughs> you just outed yourself as a bad film watcher. No, I went to see it on principle. I really didn't care if it was a good movie or not. I just on cared principle? that it was... You yeah, went to because see it, it because wait, it had naked it's, women? It had Elizabeth Berkley in it, so you went to see it on principle. So you I, saw it with Belding. She was went, saved by the Bell no. fan, baby. Dude, it's all okay, first of all, building, little joke bitches. about that big. And the reason I went to see it was because I wanted to give money to an NC-17 movie to prove that you could do it and be successful in a theater. There so were so I many better it, in But it was the a crap-ass movie. But if anything else had come out in the theater that was an NC-17 movie, I probably would have gone and sat through that too. I saw it on cable. Because there are certain things that shouldn't be... Yeah, see, on cable, it's totally not the same movie. You know, I saw it on cable when it's they, shorter, so it's they drew less. the boobies, they drew the bra over... Why are yeah. we still talking Berkeley about showgirls? I don't. What Can you was mute the, them? This is the showgirls <laughs> podcast, dude. No, no. We were discussing For what the worst November movie you ever saw. Was. Worst, the worst, worst movie, movie you, you ever saw. saw. Okay, so yes, Teresa. No, you she actually, said you boobies. actually want <laughs> boobies, boobies, boobies. Want an answer? Titties. So here's the boobies. thing: the worst movie I've ever seen. I, I don't know what it is because I wiped Walk it from memory. Now, that said, did you said, sit through Ishtar? I love. <laughs> no, I, I actually have never seen it. Um, the the but that said, I've seen some really bad movies that I love so much. I was a huge mystery science theater fan, oh. so Ooh, I mean, yes. some of those movies that they played on. I, I mean, I'd watch Over Tron at the Memory Bank with uh, the late Raul Julia. Did you see that one? <gasps> I love Raul Julia. Oh, nope. Raul Julia. Raul Julia. Is no. so I amazing. like Raul Julia. But no. uh, is it Kriga, the one with uh, d- d- Richard? Carnes, the guy was in Moonraker. I like bad yeah, movies, yeah, yeah. though. Where he's like, watch out for snakes. Yeah. It's not the two people on scene. Okay, here's a good question. Dr. Normal, what is the one movie <laughs> that you've seen? Thank God we have seen? a good question. It's a movie question. What is the one movie that you saw that you regret having seen or that you walked out on or that it was that bad? Oh, you know that... That makes you think that was an hour of my life I'll never get back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, there is one. Uh, no, I can't bring it up. We had an argument about it. No, okay. you can say it. It's okay. I'm not pregnant. I will not throw water at you. Um, I did not appreciate the movie Seven. I thought it was too dark and didn't have a lot of redeeming value. Although I realize, you know, Kevin Spacey is a huge Kevin Spacey fan. I just didn't appreciate it. And actually, the girl I was with at the time, my girlfriend walked out on the movie. And I watched the rest of the movie. I was like, oh, I'm not going to walk out on the movie. I'm going to watch well, the whole thing. But she walked out. She was just like, I'm done with this. And I thought it was just, it was, it just seemed dark for no reason. You know, I mean, and, and I, I love, that. I love, um, Brad the, Pitt, uh, Hannibal. I, I like, I like the Red Dragon. The, the you original. do not like the movie Red yeah, Dragon. Yeah, actually, well, it was Silence retouched. of the Lambs. You like, yeah. no, no, he, Silence no, of the Lambs Hannibal. was good, but the, um, Hannibal. Uh, Manhunter. Manhunter, yeah. The Michael Mann. I, I, I love yeah. that movie. The Silence of the Lambs was pretty good. Jonathan Demi. You know, then they got really bad, but, um, Heavens, yes. But you know, so it's not like I don't like that material. It's just, it, it just and dark was, for the sake of dark is different than dark for the sake of the story. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know. I would, but say, I mean, it was just a reaction at the time, and and I kind of agreed with my girlfriend. I didn't walk out. I wanted to see the rest of the movie, but then it was like, yeah, okay, this is you know, it's kind of like a chintzy horror movie masked as a serial killer flick you know what i mean it was kind of dumb i would rather watch the sex in the city movie for the rest of my life than ever have to watch the indiana jones and the kingdom did you ever see the sex in the city movie i watched the show and i felt like i was having my intestines wrapped around let me ask you i'm allergic to sarah jessica parker and i too would make that statement did you see the movie i did not let me ask you chris i have questions about movies for you i have answers I want to hear Harmony Corinne as a director. Have you ever seen his any of his films? Let me name two that you may or may not have seen. The first one is Gummo. Yes. One of my favorites. That's a fantastic movie. The second one, kind of a almost unofficial sequel, was Julian Donkey Boy, (laughs) which was I have not even heard of that. Now I have to find it. You you need to that watch one was it. A, you'll that like was a pretty it. crazy. If you liked Gummo, you liked Julian. Yeah, Gummo but it was it was it was a crazy mess. So let Gummo. me. But you let love Gummo. You love oh, Gummo. Oh hell yeah! Now so, that see, and and a lot of people, you either love it or you hate it. I mean, stop talking we're talking now. Gummo now. I no, no, no. Change you I can believe a, in. I have a question, Doctor. No Doctor Who Shush. stuff. We're talking Harmony Corinne and Gummo. 
Speaking okay. of gummo, Cammy Chaos has a question. Yes. So one movie. That's how you do it. Would you one like movie. Hat back? One movie that you regret ever having seen, aside from Indiana Jones and the Crystal Fucking Alien Skull. Hardware. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a spoiler? Hardware. I've never even heard of it. Is it this is a porno? actually that movie could only have been improved by skull fucking. I would like to <laughs> posit that right actually, now. Actually, it's a toss up because on the one Ooh, hand, Frankenhooker. Okay. Hardware is That's it's awesome got I think movie. Dylan McDermott in it. It's a post apocalyptic society. This woman is a, a like metal sculptor, mm-hmm. and she's working on this wall mural. And her boyfriend is a, like scavenger. And he brings back all these robot parts, mm-hmm. and she starts integrating them into her her uh, piece. And uh, from then on out, it's just unwatchable crap, dialogue, and horrible. Or the other incredibly bad movie, and I'm still not quite sure how they managed to take a kind of cool premise and make it suck so badly, that would be The Astronaut's Wife. First of all, the the dumb fuck who thought, oh, you know, let's cast Johnny Depp as a tanned military guy, because, you know, that's what I think of when I think of Johnny Depp. This was the... So this is a. It was 100 percent less guy liner than any movie that Johnny Depp has been in. That was awesome. <laughs> so okay, so so what about I asked you about Gummo. What about movies that are like like bad or really off cultish movies that you know some it, like some of your friends go, oh my god, you're you're sick man for loving like that. Like the audition. Have you seen I've, the audition? I have not yeah. seen the audition. I think it's Japanese or Korean. Oh, yeah. Guy's wife dies. He's lonely. And his friend makes movies. And he says, you know, help me find women. It's like, oh, we'll just audition for a non-existent movie. And he's like, oh, this is a great idea. So they audition. They find all these women. And he finds the perfect girl. And then it kind of goes all misery-like. Yeah. And towards mm. the end of the movie. It's what I love about Asian cinema. Those are some. Dip- One minute you, you're in a slapping comedy and the next minute it's like some weird <laughs> when know. Harry disemboweled exactly. Sally it's I'm like, awesome hey. Asian cinema's awesome man. okay I want to find out what Verso's movie if she could take one movie back what would it be Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull <laughs> that was such a bad not bad not even okay. showgirls I aside, would not even block aside, showgirls from my memory aside from Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull fucking oh jeez Aside now I want to see that? that movie. Just ignore it. I want to see the crystal Just skull. Just ignore fucker. it. Okay. <laughs> they My, should make a porn. I'd Dr. watch Dr. Normal. A porn. Dr. Normal, let me have. just tell you. It's why I drink. Being intimate with you, knowing you, being with you, I'm s- you do wow. not want to not see. You do not want to see the latest Indiana Jones movie. I watched it's it while you were waist. gone. I, I think I can explain it. You'd rather felch Sarah Palin oh, it's than true. watch this movie. It's true. He would okay, rather felch Sarah Palin. I think that's it. Where's the alarm? Oh, <laughs> okay. High five for using <laughs> mouth. I had to teach Dr. Normal what Ladies and gentlemen, was. Uh, for the first time on Strange Love Live, I'd like to mark it tonight, uh, November 8th. Uh, it's actually Saturday, November 8th now. Yes. Um, we've had our first guest use the word felch. If it makes you feel better, I once had to explain to an 11-year-old boy what that word meant because he overheard his yeah, sister Yeah, you don't want to know I had, had to explain it to I had me. to explain it to, to Mike, or to, excuse me, Dr. <gasps> Normal. To oh, Dr. Snap. Normal when we were watching um, the the South Park movie, and and it said oh. he said he saw Felch on the com- on the uh, piano, and I had to say I laughed hysterically, and he <laughs> said I don't understand why is that funny, and then I explained to him what Felching was, and then he thought I was lying to him. Okay. <laughs> and I said no no no, really truly that's what it means. There's a and then term. I stumbled upon it in some so, porn movie. The way I would put this like, to you, oh, Doctor, okay. not to be quite as vivid. As the illustrious Mr. O'Rourke. Are we talking would about be, the Indiana no, Jones would thing be again? Indy. Yes, we are. If Indiana Jones was standing in front of you, he would say to you, Doctor, if you have ever cared one I minute about care. me, then <coughs> do not watch this film. Because I am a piece of suck-ass crap. Can I explain why I haven't seen this film? Harrison Ford is like 85. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. He is 97. Okay, I'm sorry. 97. Harrison Ford's 97. Give or take. He should be living... Wait, wait. In- I must note, though, but that when he was young... As Han Solo? Fine. Oh, he's, God, he he's defines my girlhood years old. Dreams. He should be living in Maui and not sister. making movies. Or if he's making movies, he should be the old guy down the street or the washed up. Or the creepy or old retired. guy down the street because he's no longer hotty hotty Han Solo. Right. And I, so now you're making another yeah. freaking Indiana Jones movie with old, I, I don't care. The last one that they made with, with Sean Connery, yes. done. End. Does anyone want to know what my movie is that I would erase from What my would you mind? take back? 
existence. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it was wow. a piece of fucking crap. I watched it at the Roan Inish Theater over on, uh, is it on Hawthorne or Belmont? Yeah. That's... It's on Hawthorne. How many times right? have you guys seen Deep Throat? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> he passed away recently, the director of that film. Yes, because everybody remembers his name. <laughs> Yeah. The Everyone only reason knows I who Linda Lovelace is. Yeah, because the only you saw the I remember joke. Is because it was on Weekend Update. Yeah. <laughs> and they made that exact joke. Yeah. Was there because something else that we need? Oh, oh, we were going to talk directing. about drum corps. Yes. Yeah. Well, there. With that subject for like the last hour. Are we going to talk about drum corps or bad movies? Bad movies is a pretty good subject. I like. Bad I think movies. we're done. With, has, has everyone shared their bad movie experience? Well, I like. Drum. I have a very long list. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, so I watch I, on but... average about five movies a month. I used to watch about 17 a month. Yeah, well, the whole having kids thing, it fucks with your movie watching. The Thank whole God having a BitPoint. job thing fucks yeah. with your that too. movie watching. I work for myself, and I'll go on record to say my boss is an ass. Has anyone seen Journey to the new Journey to the Center of the Earth? No, because no. I'm waiting for Brendan Fraser to actually go back to movies that he was really good in. Like, example? The I, I, I can't actually name any. <laughs> <laughs> I liked him in The Mummy. I I really enjoyed oh god Verso you're gonna know with Christopher Walken in the underground bomb shelter. No. Bomb shelter. Uh, oh, blast from the past. Uh, blast from the past. That's what it was. I enjoyed blast from the past immensely. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm looking. I'm excited. Journey to the center of the earth will get here tomorrow yeah. in the mail that's, from Netflix, okay. and we will have All family right. night on Sunday to watch to it. End this to end this conversation. We didn't talk about favorite movie. We talked about it last week. What's your favorite movie? Or pick three. You get, yeah, like, you get three <coughs> favorite movies. Three I can do. Uh, Casablanca. Oh, oh yeah. God, yes. Baby. Which yes. I will go on record saying I will become a terrorist if any movie studio ever tries to remake that movie. I will blow them right. the fuck up. Oh, no, I'm Truly. with you. We will kick their ass together. Right. Um, Casablanca? Uh, fifth Element. Cause I, the Fifth Element? Oh, really? I can watch that movie over and over and over and over oh, and yeah. over and over Amazing. again. Um, how could you go wrong? Yeah. It's It's got everything you need. And then... Um, the ma- no, I'm not going to say the Matrix. That'd be just way too. That would be lame. <laughs> lame. lame. Um, no, uh, I, I'd actually have to say uh, recently films that I, I just really enjoy because they seemed so perfectly timed. Um, Equilibrium. That that movie had so much going for it. It's specifically the reason Christian Bale became Batman because the director uh, right. Christopher Nolan's like never seen that guy right there. That's the new seen Batman. That. It's uh, 1984 meets uh, Brave New World meets um, uh, wow. Prozac. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it on my Netflix list. You will You will love it. Versa, what are your top three? Empire. I'm sorry, let me speak English for e- those who Empire don't speak. Empire of the Sun? Or... Oh Empire my God, Empire of the Sun. Strikes real. back. But we were talking <coughs> about Christian Bale and he is in Empire of the Sun. Yes, he so, is. Is yeah. he true? He's Morris. a little kid in the movie, oh, okay. and he goes, Did, "Yeah." There you go. There's your trivia for. What'd the night. you bring me? A Hershey? You know, I want a Hershey bar. It's good to want things. Like, Mommy. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back, Back, Episode Five, Lawrence Kasdan, original trilogy. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lawrence Kasdan. The only good Star yes. Wars director. Uh, the one where um, George Lucas only got story credit as a, as mm-hmm. opposed to the newer Thank ones. God. I know. Walked in a room and said, here's what I need to have happen. Thanks. Bye. They came back with a script. Lawrence Kazan directed it. It was very dark. It was very awesome. all the rest of them had Kinda was like a bunch of fucking Kemi Muppets. Kind of chaos runs the show. <laughs> Walked uh, in a room. So, this is what I have to happen. Thank you very much. So, Empire clerks. was prob- was, is yeah. number one. No question. It's all about clerks. Um, I would probably say beyond that. Um, Battle Beyond the Stars? Yeah. With John Boy? <laughs> you are yes. not helping Mr. O'Rourke you are so not helping let's go with uh, all time Empire Sleeping Beauty and <gasps> Sleeping Beauty just <coughs> re-released on DVD yes which I have and uh, probably Wait, Goonies Goonies oh Goonies is a good choice okay either Goonies or Stand By Me it could be a toss oh, either one of those Stand because I could watch either of those movies a um, hundred times over and I have and at any point, you can ask me anything from any of those films, and I can tell you exactly. I have got to ask where you stand on Usual Suspects. Mm-hmm. I love Usual Suspects. Right, They're I making s- a sequel. I continue to love you, <coughs> and if that's true, I'm very upset. No, it's actually going to be directed by Brian Singer. Oh my! God. I don't think yeah. I can deal with that. It might be okay. It depends on how he does it. It's only because mm. it's Brian Singer. Kaiser Sozin meets 
Batman. This, if well, if actually, they bring that was back, the only reason that actually, they, I think X-Men had any Kaiser credibility. Oh, wait, wait, oh, this is an excellent question. Did everyone in the room see the second Batman? With, with, no. No? No. 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 Oh. I'm waiting for it to come out on DVD so I can download the okay. BitTorrent. I will I not discuss. I think it's playing on, uh, at the Academy Theater right now, as a matter of fact. I will I'm not mistaken. discuss. You're not helping your campaign by pirating Oh, video. no, typically when I... Uh, I'm not pirating. <laughs> Did, typically what do I do is I'll buy a Netflix? movie and then this while is, I'm waiting look, for it look, to Chris, arrive... this is a campaign you want to run in Amsterdam. You want to run for Amsterdam City Council. <laughs> no, no. You don't use Netflix. We're in America. Just say you use Netflix. <laughs> I do. Yes. I um, actually am quite excited about the uh, November you just 19th. You the DVD, right? No, actually, I don't need to anymore. November 19th. Actually, Doesn't... right now I can use it. The Xbox 360, streaming Netflix. That's true. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <coughs> and here, I thought you were all excited for the Twilight movie. I have to say... Oh, my God. That reminds me. Woo! <laughs> the Covenant, which was really like the craft for boys mixed with Dragon Ball Z. The yeah. That sounds very familiar. It, it was literally the, yeah, the, the, the... It was the craft, but dudes. Yeah, and the last so 20 minutes of that movie of was they were powering up giant no, it wasn't Harry energy Potter. balls. I love Harry Potter. Which is fun, but yeah. David Tennant was on a Harry Potter movie. He was fantastic. Wasn't he, was he really amazing? Awesome. He was so <coughs> amazing. I didn't recognize him. Oh, as a matter of yeah. fact, I saw the Harry Potter movie that he was in before I ever saw the Doctor Who and so I'm watching the the season premiere, the I'm premiere get, of David Tennant as Doctor Who, and I'm like, God, why does that guy look so funny? Oh my God, I did that too. I'm it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. And then he licked his teeth, and I was like, yeah. Oh, it's the Party Crouch Junior. I'm gonna start asking everyone what their favorite scene in a porn movie was. What got them really hot? So it's just like I uh, can answer that. Have uh, we talked about drum drum core? Yet? Hmm. Drum core. <laughs> it's just like marching band without those stupid lousy woodwinds. Because nobody right. likes woodwinds. Freaking woodwinds. And it's like down with times the woodwinds. Those clarinet awesome bastards. And more Get intense. Their asses. You know, they're, than a they're wussies. Band. We could totally take them back. <coughs> the average, uh, actually, politically well, politically minded. Quick, um, the Rat of McHugh. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's <laughs> taking the microphone down. I actually am a huge fan of the triple Rat of McHugh. Huh? Dig it up, dig it up, dig it up, dig it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I speak drummer. Um, They're speaking drummies. Now we speaking, know how actually, the doctor go, going with the, the, the Obama Who? tip. Um, okay. In 1996, the Phantom Regiment of uh, Rockford, Illinois, just mm-hmm. outside of Chicago, it's mm-hmm. a suburb, they won their first championship. And they've been around for a while. Oh, like 52 years. And mm-hmm. <coughs> the. Uh, uh, in the election cycle in 1996, mm-hmm. uh, Dole was defeated, mm-hmm. and a Democrat won the White House. Mm-hmm. This year, Phantom Regiment won. There you go. A Dole was defeated, and a Democrat took the White House. That's clearly the indicator. And Obama's a Phantom Regiment fan. Really? He grew up in well, he Chicago. grew up in Chicago, right? There so you go. that just automatically means he's Why do you think I voted for him? Fuck his issues and plan and everything. He likes drum corps. Yeah. Clearly Dick that's Cheney. the most important thing. Now, did you play in a drum He's corps? a woodwind <coughs> fan. I He's one of those clarinet Seattle cascades. The Seattle Freaking cascades. clarinet lover. Yes, although they're just called the cascades and they're inactive uh-huh. because um, I will fully go on record. The board has done amazing work. However, they've lost their mojo. Mm-hmm. They've made a huge number oh, of no, bad decisions in the last gone. 15 years. That It's a tough bit. I mean, you got to raise a lot of money to go to D.C. <coughs> and all that stuff. And, and there's a lot of equipment. Drum they stuff fought, isn't free. They, they fought the state of Washington's uh, gambling commission to say that a nonprofit organization can invest in opening up a card room. Mm-hmm. And the, wa- the gambling <laughs> commission's like, no, you can't do that. Clearly, they should have gone for the brothel. <laughs> I got to say, Dr. Normal says that drum stuff isn't free, but... I have to say, I have a house full of I, drum equipment, and I've never paid yeah. for any of it. <coughs> Do you I, play any of it? Me? Mm-hmm. No, I just look at it. Oh, no, it's not true. Occasionally, I do pound on the timpani. Timpani is awesome. Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> Ooh, exactly. Yes, baby, it is. It, of course it's a euphemism. <laughs> Flam fives. That's what it's all about. That's oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what that means. I played in a drum corps for like a month, and then I was Where? just kind of like it, uh, the 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 local at the time when I was growing up. The only local drum corps was up in Vancouver. Spartans. Uh, Spartans. That was Excellent. It. I had a good friend who was in Spartans. Very big drum corps guy for years. Who? 
Um, I bet you I know him. Good friend. You know years Dar- ago. Do you know Darwin Eagleton? No, no. Uh, <laughs> Mark. Ooh, Remember, we were determining name. earlier just exactly <coughs> how ancient the Doctor is, so there's a chance exactly. you don't know. Okay, get, here's I know one I of think the it was founders. Haskell Har. Okay, the Doctor <laughs> is 12 years reference. older. Wait. Mm-hmm. Der? 12 the Doctor years older liked than you. Emergency and watched Dragnet before you know it was on Nick at Night. You know the kid playing I'm the drums saying. with George Washington in that famous picture? That's it Dr. Was him. Normal. That was oh, my yeah. buddy. No. Dr. Normal. Which, by the way, is the reason for traditional grip. His sexuality is based grip, on the know. television show UFO. That's how old he is. My sexuality is based on the television show UFO. It's You've heard true. it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Normal, would you like to deny that? It's a night of firsts on Strange Love Live. I don't this think is right. change you can believe in. My penis is a flying saucer. <laughs> um, I'm going to deny that. It's it this big around shaped. and that long. I'm really just working the chat room here at this <laughs> it's point. It's not really... saucer shaped. They but call him pie. I think with that, we might want to say goodnight, though. I am 3.14. Oh, no. Never. <laughs> oh, yeah. Circumcisference. Oh. I just think we're going to... Felch! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, the damn felching is back. I just have to say with Good that, because night, we everybody. haven't talked about Doctor Who in a few minutes, the back of Doctor do. Who's... Um, suit jacket is not pinstriped, oh, but the okay. front of it is. All That's right. for me. It is Actually, scandalous. In, in, in closing, I'd like to say if people vote for me, uh-huh. I will do everything in the uh, city council's power to get David Tennant to return to Doctor Who. Okay, I'm voting for you. Okay, what will you do about the leaf blower situation? Will you get Will you get David Tennant to come to Portland and give me a hug? Are we talking about Leaf Garrett and the fellatio experts he hires? Yes. No. No, we are. <coughs> We what are. do you have against Leaf Garrett? No, I encourage that behavior. It's the leaf blowers will you, that blow the leaves into the streets. So will you cars recycle can drive Portland's by bong water? Ooh, recycling of the bong water. That's an important issue. I'm a firm believer that Coke Slurpee found at your local 7 Eleven is the best bong water because it keeps that lemony fresh taste from the there citric acid. Fantastic. This is true. Okay, you can't if we legalized use normal and coke? taxed it, we wouldn't actually have to have state tax anymore. That's right. It's true. And if and if any state's going to do that, it's, it's going to be Oregon, one. right? Or Alaska. We got enough coffee shops. No, no, Alaska yeah. grows so much. That oh yeah, it's going to happen in Alaska. Yeah. Well, if we got you. rid of Sarah Palin, maybe. As long as Alaska is stupid enough to continue to vote for Ted Stevens yeah. after he's convicted of <laughs> exactly. a felony. Exactly. And they're against communism, but they all get free money from the government. They need Matthew. Le- we need Matthew Lesko to move to Portland. The question mark suit guy. Yes. He can get me free money from the government. There you, there you go. go. Free money. Free money. That free money could finance your campaign. So, Strange Love Live, cigarettes, bong water. Um, Chris O'Rourke sold me cigarettes when I was 18 years old. And free money Portland from rich is, people. So, if you're Portland rich and you tiny, got money out there, place. it's free. Give it to us. Yes, this Portland is, is tiny. You Give us money. It. Give I'm us gonna change. I'm going to redistribute the cool. There we go. Oh, redistributing oh. the cool. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been a pleasure having you all on Strange Love Live. Thank you for joining us the night the podcasting died. For realsy died, not Again. like last and they week. They were singing bye, like, bye, bye, this here podcasting pain. guy. <laughs> I'm not allowed to sing because I, I can't. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night.